As travel restrictions ease and consumer confidence grows, the pent-up travel demand we've been talking about for almost a year is finally here. But what does this mean for travel? Keep watching for a state of the travel industry right now. I'm Christina. I'm a traveler, a planner, and most importantly, a mom. I'm sharing my best tips to make traveling as a family a little less stressful. So put down your phone, pack your bags, and let's showcase the world. Travel is back! Yay! So exciting! Um, but it does mean some things have changed after a two-month kind of lull. Um, and there are some things that you need to know about traveling right now that you didn't used to need to know. So air travel, let's start there. Um, there's more people on planes and in airports, 150% as many passengers are expected to fly this year than last year according to the International Air Transport Association. What's this mean for you? Get there early. Get there early. Destinations that have been um, closed to travelers are starting to reopen, including Australia, the Philippines, and Bali. Airlines have been gradually adding back routes and expanding with new ones in the spring. Um, American Airlines plans to add six new routes from Boston. It's busy. The airport's busy. The airlines are dealing with labor shortages. The airports are dealing with labor shortages. There's more people traveling. So make sure you pack your patients, get your TSA pre-check, because um, even though the line does seem long, it moves a lot faster than the regular line. So I recommend that and leave yourself plenty of time to get to your gate. Also be prepared for cancellations and delays. Um, if you're traveling with kids, make sure you have plenty to do. Make sure you have plenty of diapers. Anything um, just expect the unexpected is really important right now. Availability. Summer 2022 will be the busiest travel season ever, Expedia CEO predicts. Um, you know, I haven't seen that so much. I definitely see that fall 2022. I have a lot of travel in fall 2022 and I'm having a hard time finding availability. Some are still, um, there's still a lot available and to be booked. Um, but guests feel that they've lost two years. Older clients are concerned about having fewer healthy years left to travel. So the, the trend of last minute travel, um, it's decreasing. You know, there are so many people who have been booked 2020, 2021, and they just kept moving things. So, you know, fall is really, really busy and popular right now. If you are planning on traveling 2022, I would look at this summer, but start planning now. Um, last minute travel, really, it was a big trend for the last two years, but it's decreasing as a trend because things are booking up. I had a client come to me who wanted to go on spring break and they contacted me about four to six weeks before our trip, which usually it's pretty pretty okay. We can pretty we can make something work even um, though it's a busy season. She was totally flexible, so she wasn't set on a resort or anything. If you're set on a resort, book it a year in advance because they are booking up. It's crazy. And you know, we booked her spring break a few years ago. It was probably three times the cost of what she was expecting because of the last minute travel. We were able to find her availability, but it wasn't at the resorts that she's normally booked at. Um, and the resorts that she has booked at in the past were two to three times as expensive because of the demand. So don't think that you can get away with booking last minute anymore. Um, I kind of mentioned pricing in that last one, but with the record demand, rates have rose, even in the traditional off-season months. Um, it's more expensive. So I have another client. We had their trip booked for November 2020. We just rebooked it for November 2022. And it's about $1,000 more for the same exact vacation. A lot of these hotels have to make up for lost conference revenue. Things aren't coming back as quickly there. And so they have to increase the prices for leisure travel, the food and beverage for Conferences usually makes up a huge part of the income for a hotel, so they have to make up for that somewhere, and then the demand um, 
Airlines are expected to be back to historic levels by August. Prices will be high, but people are willing to pay whatever the hell it takes to get out of here. So it is going to be more expensive. Um, part of that is pent up savings. People haven't been traveling for the past two years, so they're okay spending it. People are tired of spending on material home goods and they're ready to shell out for experiences. So just be prepared for that as you are thinking about your 2022 trip. There are currently still over more than 100,000 health and travel restrictions in place, but um, we're expecting a big bounce back in, in summer travel. We saw last year that the restrictions eased for the summer and then they were back up for festive bookings or, or holiday bookings. So if you are planning um, a trip in the fall, I would be prepared for restrictions to go back up. The summer they will dip um, and then we'll see them kind of go back with the regular flu season. Experiences are modified. A lot of resort hotels, uh, or resort hotel restaurants aren't open. A lot of airport restaurants aren't open because there is the later labor shortage that everyone is dealing with all around. Um, rental cars are still pricey and hard to get. Rental agencies haven't been able to expand their fleets due to slowdowns in the automotive manufacturing industry. And so the anticipated travel predict some more car trouble <laughs> ahead with really pricey and hard to get. So if you're looking at renting a car book early, um, where? If 2021 was about domestic travel, 2022 will be the year of the bucket list trip. City travel is back after more than two years avoiding urban centers. People are eagle, eager, they're eagle, they're eager to return to their favorite metropolis and swan dive into the sights, bites, and sounds of a city that's not their own. We're seeing a lot of um, interest pick up for New York, London, and Paris. We're also seeing a ton of interest in expeditions like Antarctica expeditions. Um, I've booked a few African safaris because people have had that pent up savings that we've talked about and they're just ready to take those big bucket list trips. In a survey of 12,000 travelers in 12 countries, a company found that 65% of respondents are planning to go big on their next trip, according to this survey. Um, as a result, it's, you know, the desire for exciting and extravagant trips is the biggest trend of the year in the travel industry. Um, people are celebrating missed milestones and often celebrating with extended family. So multi-generational trips are really, really popular as well. Destinations that provide for large multi-generational families with high inventory of villas are also very popular. Um, the Mexican, Caribbean, things like that are seeing an uptick in bookings. I have a wonderful partner who does these beautiful villas. They have villas all around the world. And unlike Airbnb, their cancellation policies are much more in the... Um, favor of the traveler and the properties are vetted. So what you see online is what you're going to get. You're not going to have um, some of the horror stories that we've seen with Airbnb over the last few years. And these villas, they have some beautiful ones in Provence and they have some ones in Tuscany and oh, they're absolutely gorgeous. So I would love to help you to book a villa for your multi-generational bucket list trip. Big trips require big plans, which is resulting in a new new demand for travel agents. Professional planners can help you navigate COVID-19 tests, restrictions, changes in requirements, visas, flights, accommodations, activities, and backup plans. So we have been very busy over here over at Showcase the World Travel. We've brought on some new team members to be able to help with the demand as well. So if you need help with your bucket list trip or, um, you just want to, you know, have a complimentary vacation consultation, click the link below to schedule a call. We would love to chat with you and help you navigate all of the new concerns with traveling in 2022. Thank you so much for joining me and don't forget to take a break from the busy. Need help planning your next family vacation? Visit us at showcasetheworld.com to request a quote or schedule a free vacation consultation. Want more great travel tips? You'll find those there too.